Hey guys, Mike and Tom with Projection Pro Billiards here. Um, today we're introducing update number 2.06.008. Uh, in this update, which is more of a visual update, uh, we're going to be changing some of the way that the dialogues in the system work and we're also introducing a couple new features like the drill down loader um, and changes to the way that we calibrate the system. So let's go through and walk through some of those changes and we'll talk about the benefits here as we go. So after you update, you're gonna be greeted with the drill selector. You can see that we've got a new look to it. Um, nice clean look at the top. When we select things, you'll see what folder you're in. Um, down at the bottom here, we can adjust the size and scale of the windows. This is for every dialog in Projection Pro Billiards. This feature allows us to create a uh, unified platform that we can build new features on top of. Um, so kind of a pretty big upgrade, even though you guys aren't going to see it so much on the user end until we start releasing new updates in the future. Um, uh, so let's close that down real quick. Uh, we've also got the ball rack that has the same new look to it, a uh, little bit cleaner. And this one also has some new features as well. You'll see a minimize button up at the top. We can minimize that, which now you can have your ball rack on the table while you're shooting a drill and move it around. But when you maximize it again, have access to your ball rack. So just reduces some of the clicks that you're using. Um, also, when you click the settings menu, the ball rack's gonna immediately grow to the size that you can see all of your features. So now no more fumbling with scrolling and stuff. And when you go back to the rack, it'll shrink back down and just like always, you can close that with the X in the top right corner. Um, so let's go to the calibrate table. Uh, this changed a little bit as well. You'll see a couple new buttons on this screen. Uh, most of you that don't move your projectors at all are gonna not notice this at all, but for our newer users, the long rail projection and the reset to factory defaults is uh, both of those functions are new. For short rail projections, that means either foot or head rail projections, um, our projector obviously is at the uh, foot rail of our table. Um, you want the points on the top left corner, so our top left corner is 0, 1, 2, 3, right? So if we were on a long rail projection at this point, above the side pocket, either side pocket, with the projector here, we would have long rail on, right? Because you're projecting from a side pocket slash long rail mounting location. The top left of our, of our table would be three, and then top right would be zero, bottom right would be one, bottom left would be number two. Obviously, since we're from an end rail, the numbers are a little wonky, but the three would be there if we were projecting top down. So since we're not, um, let's just go ahead and show a, a fault case. This is a pretty common thing that used to happen in Projection Pro Billiards where people would have their calibration points rotated in the wrong direction. And you'll notice that unlike what it was before, it is very stretched out. So we, we're seeing a elongated image, things are stretched out, the menu is just not looking right. Um, so when you see a stretched out menu like this in Projection Pro Billiards, it means that your long rail projection is set to the wrong setting. Um, so if we jump back into the calibration icon, which it's hard to see now, but it's there. So hover over it, calibrate table. Like I said, we're projecting from the short rail the head or the foot rail, and long rail projection is on. So we immediately know that this is incorrect. So let's go ahead and click that again to toggle long rail off. We've got zero in the top left corner. We hit the done button, and now we're calibrated correctly. Um, so that's the number one uh, feature in our calibration screen that adjusted. Um, we also fixed some bugs in there that some users were experiencing, uh, but you'll have to play around with that to figure, what we, figure out what we fixed yourself. 
Um, another major, major update, and this is why uh, we're releasing this update now, is the drill updater. So the reason this is more of a visual update and a couple bug fixes here and there is because we wanted to separate the software update side from the drill update side. Because we constantly have new drill sets to give you guys, we constantly have new uh, updates to the current drill sets you already have, but we've always had to wait till we had a software update ready to give you guys these new drill sets. Um, so for now, what we decided to do is make our drill downloader updater. So this allows us to release, create, and update drill sets that you already have in a organized fashion that's completely separate from software updates. And believe me, Tom is incredibly excited about this because he always has to wait for me to finish the software updates um, before he is able to release new drill sets to you. Um, so in the future, you guys are going to be able to get new drill sets much, much, much quicker um, and not have to wait for me to finish the math side of uh, Projection Pro Billiards. Uh, but we're going to cover this in our next video. Uh, this has been Mike and Tom with Projection Pro Billiards introducing update 2.06.008. Uh, and we'll go over that in the future, but happy practicing for now, and we'll see you next time.